Yes, I choose verse 94 of Sri Sri Radha Sudanidi, written by Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati, who dived deep in his manjari bath, who experienced to be really near Srimati, to serve her personally, intimately. And he, Shripat, is so generous that he offers his prayers to us. And Ananda Das Babaji helped us to understand his prayers with his beautiful commentaries. So this is first. 94. O oh, beautiful daughter of King Frishabhanu, Rindavan's transcendental Cupid, Krishna, always flatters your maidservants in so many ways desiring the festival of your indescribable mercy. I, Shripat, praise your beautiful feet from which waves of very blissful, constant passion always flow. I repeat this verse. O beautiful daughter of King Vrishabhanu, Vrindavan's transcendental Cupid, Krishna, always flatters your maidservants in so many ways desiring the festival of your indescribable mercy. I praise your beautiful feet from which waves of very blissful, constant passion always flow. Well, I may I share something? Please, you don't have to ask, so Devi. So, um, I was contemplating about this festival of Sri Radha's mercy, and. What I now would like to share is not just exactly fitting to this verse, but uh, to Radha's mercy. I saw, I thought about the Rasa dance. And the Rasa dance, there Krishna fulfills the longings of the souls to be together with him. He enchanted the gopis with his flute song. And the gopis ran to him. They, they, there were no obstacles. They forgot all their duties. For them, it was so immediately, so important to be with him, with all their love, they ran to meet Krishna. And in this Rasa dance, Krishna danced with each and every soul. It was a dance. 
And it is Radha's duty to, to send him the souls. So she looked at this dance also very happy. But then Sri Radha left this dance. Imagine this shock. But it was because she was jealous. Sri Radha is the ocean of compassion. She is love. The love. And she is the ocean of cleverness. So perhaps in this moment she knew, well, now I could reward the Scopis with a really another kind of gift. Not only to be, to say, I'm yours, Krishna. Please be together with me. But instead, to serve her, the energy of love. So, then the Raza dance stopped and this Gora Lila starts. She is the ocean of mercy who, who rewards the gopis with this unprecious gift of manjari bath. She, she helped them to, to go a step further on. And therefore, she had to leave the Raza dance. And also, the Gopis could, got some kind of, of pride because they were together with Krishna. And so also Krishna disappeared to make them longing. And also, Sri Radhika does help her beloved, because Krishna has to say, my dear gopis, I can't reciprocate. He said, I'm not able to repay my debt for your spotless service, even within a lifetime of Brahma. Your connection, gopis, with me is beyond reproach. So, Sri Radhika helped him. Krishna had to get another form, Gauranga. And perhaps this Leela starts exactly in this moment. She is the ocean of mercy. Yes. First of all, uh, I like that you are doing a deep meditation about the connection of this verse of Radhara Sudhanidhi and the Rasa dance. This is the verse before also. Huh? Mm -hmm. but the point I just want to um, add here is that actually the gopis who took part in the Rasa dance, they were never interested in being a manjari. So At this moment, make... not, but perhaps afterward. Perhaps Ra because of Radha's mercy, they. No, gave... they had a, they had the mercy of of uh, getting the feelings that how it was when Radharani was not in the Rasa dance, right? That was actually also Raza, Radharani's mercy on them, because we know. After Radharani had left the Rasa dance, she Krishna was looking for her and then Krishna was carrying her. But Krishna immediately felt that Shimati Radhika was not happy without her friends. So it was her desire to also again come together with her, her gopis that were now desperate and looking for both of them in big uh, separation feelings. 
So it is not necessarily that those uh, gopis like that, that the gopis who are in the rasa dance can become uh, in a you know, mandri mood because they want to be in Krishna's relationship. They want to dance him with him. They want to be embraced by him. They have this, they were actually in former lives, many of them were also the gopi. Uh, they they call the Munichari rishis or the uh, other kind of uh, high high souls rishis who had prayed to get Krishna's association in different different ages when he was in his form as Ramachandra, for example. Yeah. So they had this desire for many lifetimes, and then it got fulfilled, and it is not uh, connected to the Manjari path that Baba is explaining here. Because that verse is about how Krishna flatters the maidservants of Shrimati Radhika to come in contact and uh, break her man, her anger, her little bit uh, peak, you know. Yes. So that is a completely different uh, story here. Yes, yes, I know. But imagine if if they because they dance with Krishna, recognize. There must something else. Tarun Baba and wants they to looked, say And they looked at Sri Radha, yeah. how she loves Krishna. That and they is, want to serve that is, her. Yes. That is a that is a very, very lovely thought, but always remember I'm on this I, I like Suniti is saying that is a beautiful thinking because you're a beautiful soul, but you have to always remember the stai bhav is the stai bhav. So when we talk about the Rasa Lila, we talk about the Nitya Sita Parikars and then the gopis who danced with Krishna in the Rasa Lila, their stat stai bhav will never change. So so uh -huh. the mantra is, you know, that this, we are in the eternal Lila. Even when Krishna is on the planet, those who are dancing with uh, Swamini, uh, so those who are dancing with Krishna, their stai bhav is, is uh, uh, Saki. So they, they have the tendency to enjoy with the Lord, but like Suniti said, my dears, this verse is another one of those big, big shots for Manjari Bath. Because when you when you speak about this verse, the supreme personality of Godhead, the creator of everything, what is he doing? And this is what we talked about yesterday, also. This, yes. you know, and 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 the days and the week before, and in the Prema Mela. So the supreme personality of Godhead, you know. He he goes down to the platform of lettering the manjaris. Just imagine this rasa. We go away yes, now of course. from the tattva and we go to the point of rasa that Krishna, he himself lowers himself. Even sometimes he bows down. This is one verse. There are many, many verses where he bows down and he begs sometimes the kinkaris to get entrance to break the man of Swamini. So here we have. You know, I uh, one day I will make a compilation. I think I made already a compilation. These are the beautiful, beautiful verses which nourish and which strengthen our nishta in Manjari Bhav. So this verse really, if you if you are in the presence of Sadhu Maharaj and, and Baba, this verse is just beautifully chosen, Sudevi, because this is what we need. We need Ishta Nishta, we need Guru Nishta, and we need Nishta in our Siddhaswarup. And this is if Krishna comes and he flatters, the word flattering means saying, uh, schmiering honig ums Maul. Ne? So, so, schmeicheln. Uh, yeah, schmeicheln, you know, put honey around the mouth, you know, to, uh, he, he is, he is really begging like a beggar. The, the biggest, biggest, like yesterday we said, Akilamrita. He is the reservoir of Val Rasas, but what is he doing? The ocean is going to the little sweet kinkery and he's begging. Come on, please break the man of Swamini. I want to be with her. So this is a deep, deep point, and I think Baba is will make a very, yes. very beautiful explanation of this most wonderful verse. Jai yes. So sorry. Oh, it is. Please don't, please don't be sorry. No, oh. sorry. Please don't be sorry. This is just sharing, and you shared your emotions, and they are beautiful. You know, don't be sorry. This is not. Not this is we are sharing in love. When we are sorry, we are again 
in our guilty Christian feelings, please go out of that. We, we share in love, right? Thank you. So, may I read the commentary? Once, Sri Mati Radhika eagerly waited the whole night for Krishna in her self-decorated arbor. But he did not show up. Only at daybreak he came before her with clear signs of Chandravali's love making on his body. With eyes reddened of anger, Srimati then told him. I want to just say, yes. sorry, I want to just mm. shortly um, get our attention. How special is this verse? Because it starts immediately with the Leela. Yes. Right? It is, I mean, hardly ever we have it. But immediately it's the Leela. So it's very beautiful that you chose this verse. May I read this scene again? <laughs> yes? Sure. Once Sri Mati Radhika eagerly waited the whole night for Krishna in her self-decorated arbor, but he did not show up. Only at daybreak he came before her with clear signs of Chandravali's love-making on his body. With eyes reddened of anger, Srimati then told him, Perhaps, I think it's, it's a heavy scene, huh? Srimati, she has by herself decorated the arbor. She was so engaged in, in her beauty and in her expertise. She decorated beautifully for him waiting whole night and you know if you wait the time is elongating not, not only 10 minutes half an hour one hour two hours three hours the whole night and then Krishna he was so naughty to come to her at morning with clear signs of Chandravali love making. It was such a provocation. How could he do it? And then <laughs> with eyes reddened of anger. Srimati then told him, O oh, Damoda, just surrender to that goddess who fulfills your desires and by whose mercy you will become happy and serve her, whose foot leg colors your head, whose chewed betel nuts illuminate your mouth, and whose spotless flower garland that first adorned her butt-like breasts now beautifies your neck. Srimati now assumes the mood of a Dira Dira Naikya who chastises her unfaithful lover with crooked words. So yeah. here, yes. here we see again, this verse is so beautiful because another perspective opens up because 
This verse is so beautiful. It shows us how essential the mancharis are for for the divine couple to perform perform their lila. So how important their role is because now Swamini is so deeply in man. She's angry. Her eyes are red. But you know who can? How can she come out of that? Therefore, the manjari, she is the ambassador. She is the the middle the middle girl who can who can break the man. And therefore, it is so important to see that the manjari is even they are humility humility in person and and hum and everything. But they are very very important because otherwise, how can she come out? Of her anger and her man, and this this must be a huge um, anger. <laughs> and did Krishna wanted to provoke her, or wasn't he just unconscious about that? He. His the signs of being together with Chandra, but it was so obvious. That's a good question. That is Varasika's uh, Goravani. You know, I know, you know that. <laughs> Goravani ji. I do know nothing. And what do you feel? <laughs> what Gurudev give me by his mercy and share with me. Actually, what was the question? I, I, I was... The question, did, wasn't Krishna, did he wanted to provoke Sri Radhika? Because the signs of Chandravali's lovemaking with him was very obvious. She, he he didn't had he didn't hide it. He could have taken a bath, coming coming fresh. No, no, God's provoking her. Wasn't he unconscious about the signs that he he provoked such an anger of her, or did he wanted it to to pierce her? Which <laughs> was. Well, we have to see it from. I mean, in in the lila, he's not aware. Because of Yoga Maya. But of course, you can say in, in one sense he is aware because this is actually the game. This is the play. This is the taste. They want to, let's say, provoke. Yes. Let's say they, they, they want to have this special taste. So Radharani specially wants to satisfy him with that kind of taste. Like when you cook some special spicy uh, things. Uh, some bitter, some sour, some sweet, and so on. So you need different kind of tastes to really uh, taste the whole capability of the tongue. So to, to taste the whole capability of the rasa, you also need this different kind of tasty spices for this rasa lila. So in, in this kind, you can see it from different perspective. But I would say in, in the, in the Rasa Lila, he is not aware in that moment. He cannot be aware. Otherwise, he would spoil the Rasa Lila. Mm -hmm. yes. Like you said, it must be a very dramatic, uh, upset of, of Radhika, isn't it? Uh, if she would be aware that it's just a game, how she could be so upset? No, she has to be really upset. And she really has to get this boy. How you dare standing before me with that science? Yes. <laughs> I would be ashamed. I would be ashamed to that. Of course. Who would go there with such signs? Who would dare to do that? My God, that's amazing that it happens. Very beautiful. And 
only by the mercy of the mandaris this can happen. If they would not be in the middle, like Tarun Baba said, and bring these two sides together, such a lila wouldn't be possible. And this is the mercy, and actually this is what I understand from the verse, uh, in, the, in, in the verse, like it is said, O oh, beautiful daughter of King Bishabanu, yes, how beautiful she is. She is the daughter of King Bishabanu, and she is most beautiful. She is the most beautiful one. And even Brindavan's transcendental Cupid, we all know who, who is that, always flatters your maidservant. Even your maidservants, they are actually living from your mercy, from your lotus feet. But Krishna actually has to flatter them to get your mercy. Otherwise, he will not get your mercy. He has to flatter them. Otherwise, how he can get this mercy from your lotus feet? They are your shadow. They are between you and this boy. So he has to actually come to the shadow to Radharani. First, he has to lose his crown by the feet of Radharani. It has to be there, on, 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 down. And then he can crap the shadow. And by the mercy of the shadow, he gets the mercy of Radharani. So actually, this verse is actually revealing how great, how great the mandaris are. By the mercy of Radharani. Sorry. Yes. A wonderful Gauravani. I, I maybe also Goranga Sundar you want to add. It is such a such a crucial point to understand. Otherwise, we forget that Krishna is completely transcendental and Shimati Radhika is transcendental and the Leela is transcendental. We need to go deep into that. Otherwise, we have a mundane a mix up. Right, Goranga Sundar, what is your your advice to, to judge the situation. It, it's, <laughs> it's completely above all my abilities, you know. It's really such a beautiful purity, and Gauravani was explaining in such a way, in a beautiful way and a relishable way. Uh, Baba here is giving uh, one direction for us uh, sadhakas, how to understand this kind of mana because there are different kinds of mana. And Baba is saying dira adira naika, heroine, which is dira adira. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita is written that there are three types of this mana. Dira, adira, mm. and then dira adira. Yes. First mana is a very peaceful, very calm, shanti. But still, there is man, there is angerness, which is deeply hidden and burning in the heart. But heroine, in this case our beautiful Radhika, she doesn't want to show that she is hurt. And she, she is speaking very nice words little sarcastic, very subtly. And she is allowing her lover to embrace her. You know, but it, through these very, very slight sarcastic words and ways of looking, she is showing that she is in man. But this is very peaceful man. Without any strong intense waves. This is dira, calm, like Sunitiji said. But there's another opposite side of this. Dira, it's adira. When she is furious, her mana is so obvious, and nothing can pacify this mana. 
because it's so acharyas. I think that Prabhupada or someone is calling this kind of Adira like she is like a chili, you know, and this chili nature is burning. So she is use, using such a harsh words towards her lover. She is criticizing. She doesn't choose politely any kind of expression of her angerness. She's very, very, very strong. And Krishna, of course, she, he is also <laughs> enjoying and relishing this kind of angerness of Srimata Radhika. But it's very difficult for him to pacify him. So she's a furious, like a chili. And then we have one mixture of mana. Dira Dira. So Baba is saying here, this kind of mana here, which Radhika is expressing, is not so furious, but it's not so mild. It's some kind of middle stage, Dira Dira. Dira Dira. And in this way, this man uh, is very interesting because there is a mixture of harsh words, sarcastic words, but also mild words. And it can be seen in her reddish eyes also, that this is not just ordinary mana. This is very, very strong mana. But she is trying to control it. It's controlled. But she cannot, <laughs> you know. Uh, and uh, because she is little reasonable, you know, but sometimes she is getting out of this. She is losing this mood of reasonable, calm, peaceful. So Baba is saying here uh, that in that way she is chastising her lover. Because we should know one thing, that Radha and Mohan are a young adolescent couple. And when the lovers are young, their prema, their love is always very crooked. When they are old lovers, it's more smoothly is going on. But the lovers are in this age, 14, 15 years, when adolescence is burst, burning their old senses, you know, the love is very crooked and unpredictable. So this man is nourishing their intimate pastimes. And Baba is continuing then now to explain more and more to bring us in this special feeling of angerness, jealousy, because this is also one kind of Vipralamba. They are together, but they cannot kiss each other, they cannot embrace each other. They are enjoying, relishing this separation, although they are together. So it brings so much nectar for their love, increasing more and more. And this dira adira, it's like, you know, little harsh, little fire, little ice, little fire. This is young people who are mad in love for each other. They are acting like this, not old ones. Old ones are very boring. Radhe, Radhe. I'm <laughs> very, very, like very, wonderful, very wonderful. I, I really love that. And I love the point Suniti was making because easily uh, the, the, the point of transcendental pastimes is, is, is going to get lost. And like Gauravani also said, we have to always keep in mind that this question from Sudevi is so nice because we have to see what is the end game, like Gauravani already hinted at that point. So what is the end game? Of course, uh, Yoga Maya is, is, uh, has her influence, but on the other side, we always have to keep in mind that uh, sometimes it's written in the Rasa Shastras that the crooked glances, the crooked sidelong glances of Swamini 
is are even more enjoyable this mana for Krishna than Milan or, or, or amorous pastimes because then there is obstacle. Then he has to overcome the obstacle. And also from the perspective of Swamini, this, this mana which she is expressing now is also one expression of her Madanakya Mahavas. This we never should uh, uh, underestimate because she has this mood and she knows, she knows very well that this is also her body and her life is there to serve and to, to satisfy Krishna. So like, like all the nice devotees already said, there are many facets how she is doing that, dira, adira, dira, adira, or sometimes even more things. You know, there's humor, there is so many, many waves in her Madanakya Mahabhav. And this, this dira, adira is also there at the end to, to have enjoyment and to satisfy her beloved. So we should all, these are the two perspectives. Of course, Krishna is provoking her because he is enjoying the result of that provocation so much. And Radhika is, in, is, in, is, is doing it because she knows that he is enjoying it so much. And then there is Yoga Maya. So this is transcendental. And for, and this is what the Acharyas say. We always have to hear and, 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 and understand these pastimes without the material consciousness. And then they will purify the Vikiditam verse of Bhagavatam. When we hear this from the mouth of Baba and Gurudev, such pastimes will actually purify our heart, even if there is young love, even there is erotic and amorous stuff. You know, this is on the very, very highest level of Nikunja Lila. And in the association of Sat Snikta and Satchati, Sangha, this is actually very, very purifying. And honestly speaking, Krishna Das Kaviraj, he is saying this is the only means. It is the only means to purify the heart. And so, in th therefore, this is so relishable if everyone is, is sharing his understanding and uh, the words of the Acharyas giving, giving us so much flavor in this, in this wonderful, wonderful pastime and, and verse. I don't know, Gurudev. Would you like to? Would you like to uh, share on this subject, Gurudev? It's very deep and important to understand for us beginners how this man of Radhika and how this Krishna not coming until the end of the night. How this is all for the pleasure, for Radha Mohan's pleasure. Oops, we cannot hear you, Gurudev. This is Swamini Madhanakya Mahabhav. Maha, Madhanakya Mahabhav is there is no only one subject, feelings of subject. The first line, what she did, first line of this. Oh, beautiful girl. A, uh, of this quotation, or, or of this verse, was, was. O beautiful daughter of King Vishavanu, Vandavan's transcendental Cupid Krishna always flatters your maid servants in so many ways, desiring the festival of your indescribable mercy. Yeah. I festival of mercy. <laughs> festival of mercy. So how she will make festival if there is only one test? <laughs> if the if the uh, one person eats and he say, I'm going to the festival for eating food of prasadam. And if there is no many varieties of things, then how is the festival? Festival of taste. This is the point. Festival of taste. Uh, Gopi 
is giving so much love to Krishna. <coughs> Because in the first time in the life, he has a chance to touch the Krishna. He has a chance to hug the Krishna, embrace the Krishna, and dance with Krishna. One time. <coughs> this is the first time for that, that she can do this. And you see, the gopis are expansion of Radhika. But she forgets from where that I am expansion of Radhika. Radhika, mercy, I become gopi -bhav. But when he gets the Krishna, she forgets that. And Radhika is in the center <laughs> watching. And Krishna is also in the center of Maharaj with Radhika. And one Krishna is dancing with the gopis. And she forgets that what is my ex, who is the main for me? She says, I am a Radha's friend, Radhika Dasi, but not this is the Dasi, who forgets the moment when he got some different thing. So this is Gopi Bhav. When the gopi uh, get the Krishna, she forget a bit because her, she, this, they say the is a sanchari bhav. Sanchari means moving nature. They say that I am a radhika, but today mind become with Krishna, and they are happy there. <laughs> this is sanchari, not a sai. And you see the Chandravali, Chandravali say, My God, you are, I am yours. And you never give time to me. I am yours. Now I will not leave you because I am yours. How you can leave me? He said, Krishna said, no, no, I am not going to leave you. I am yours. You have to care me. You have to give me clothes. You have to give me everything. You have to care me because I am yours. And Krishna said, yes, yes. Are, I accept you. You are my. I am yours. And so many demands are there because I am yours. You fulfill me this, you fulfill me this, you fulfill me this because I am yours. If I am somebody, then he has to care me. Right or not? I am yours, then you have to care me. These are the feelings of festival. And then she is giving more love because this is the time to attract to Krishna for Chandravali, for Gopi. Now What to do in the circumstances? She has to give more higher taste to, to Krishna, right? Huh? You see, rag and rag, sne and man. Why man is the more higher? Because man is also the festival. of love, because that time the lover has to be bowed down to please the beloved. She cannot be a controller, she has to beg to pull down to her love, 
um, our anger and that is also the love because of love is happening. Without sneha, without the inner connection and feeling, it never happens. Rag means I love you, and rag means you and I, I love you and you love me. Sneha. Sneha means I are 24 7 in the feeling of you. And after that, this man, man happening after Sneha. Sneha, man is more higher than Rag, I mean, Rag and Sneha. Because this man, this angerness is not angerness. The satisfaction of Priya, pleasing, when the lover want to please and he, he want to request and lying and joking and try to melt the heart, is very difficult. He is also love. He is not material type. He is divine, he is more pure. And this is the highest test given. So, Radhika, think to now, I have to be man. Because they, everyone give more love, they are all my expression, they give this love. This is the festival. Radhika expansion is Chandravali, Radhika expansions are all Gopi. So they are giving. Now she has to make festival, so she is giving man. And then, in this man, Krishna cannot manage alone. Then he requests Manjaris, please help me. Without you, I cannot please. Then <coughs> she goes inside in the Kunja and says to Radhika, Krishna is praying and you are angry. And you are not angry, I know this. Because the moment he will go again, you will say, please call him, search him, where I will search him. So why you are angry? I am never angry. 24-7, I meditate in this angerness more. And I want to give new relishment to him. Because he eat very much sweet from other place. I want to give some salty and sour. If there is a, you eat, and if you eat, only give you sweet to eat, you will take one piece. If somebody give the salty, sour, and sweet thing, you will like to eat, complete the plate. <coughs> so, she got, Krishna got the sweet every breath, so she gave some sour. Then it become more relishment and tasteful to Krishna. She knows the circumstances. All their expansion of Radhika. Why she will be angry? But she wants to give more taste to Radha Krishna. This is my spirit. My life, all our telling is very nice, but I see like this. The man is for relishing more to this, and that he they are give the chance to the Mandiri to serve, and that Krishna want to serve Mandiri request that he make the and that. She said, okay, hold him, not want to go him. Then Manjari go outside. Krishna, she is very angry. 
she is not ready to accept you. Please, <laughs> please, Manjiri, take a nice request. And then, so, and then, why don't you bring him Radhika? Then he said, wait, wait, I'm managing something. I'm teaching him very nicely. I want to make him honestly to be, behave. So she goes, this is still very angry. She is not listening anything. Yeah. <coughs> and again, it's not requesting to the Mandiri. And she goes alone. Radhika become very angry. Why not you bring Krishna? I am not angry. How I can be angry with Krishna? He will go. Please go and bring. So these are the all sweet pastimes of Madhanakya Mahabhama. These are the festival of the feelings. She wants to show with different, different ways. These all Manjari, all, all Sakis and Gopis and Chandravali, these are all the Radhika's expression. You see Bhakti Vinod Thakur song. Gurudev, thank you, thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful explanation. My God, um, can you can you help me? I think also you many many times said in this situation now, the man, like you said, is an expression of Madanakya Mahabhav, but also I think because Radhika is not thinking I am yours, but you are mine, so so she cannot say. Okay, she cannot do anything but man because she she knows that she is he is mine. He has to conquer that man because her feeling is you are mine. If she would think I am yours, she would be very easily conquered and she would not mean man. Is this right? Right. She wants to make happy. Yes. Because they visit us, they are make happy. If you are my, why to bother? Only I will become angry. Mm. Please me now. Mm. And okay. I, when you come, you visit me one day and one week, and I will be angry with you because we are very impersonal. So uh, only just chance I got. But I say, no, no, I am yours. You have to take care of me. I am yours, know, sure you have to take care. Radhika said, I don't bother where he goes. <laughs> <He's mine. laughs> All are mine. Even the mind as a gopi yes. are mine. Yes. Sakis are my expense. And Chandravan is also my expense. <laughs> right? Yes. Thank you. This is the festival of feeling of Sri Martin now assumes the mood of Dira Adira Naikia, who chastises her unfaithful lover with crooked words. No amount of humble words. Love, this is the love. Yes. No. Is, nobody can say crooked words when there is no love. No amount of humble words can soothe the peak of such a heroine. Sri Pat, in his kinkery form, is engaged in Swamini's service, following her 
like her shadow. When Swamini is sad, her maidservants are sad. And when Swamini is happy, they are happy. For they have no separate desires from Swamini. Shyama Sundara. The difference of the Manjari and Gopis and Sundara. When Swamini is happy, Manjari is happy. Gopis are happy. Well, he meet with Krishna. She forget her from her original wealth. I have to make happy. That is Sanchari movement, not fixed in Rasta. Although she is the expansion of Rasta. Chandravari is also expansion, but she wants her enjoyment, not Radhika's happiness. Like we are, we are, we want our happiness, we forget that. Yes, the Manjaris have no, no separate desires from Swamini. Shyama Sundra helplessly Shamasundra helplessly takes shelter of this maidservant. And it is the he of the Manjari. That Shamsundra <coughs> takes shelter. Now that she can do meditating and feel some happiness. Shamasundra helplessly takes shelter of this maidservant and appeals to her with folded hands and flattering words. You see this? To this young what child. Is love. Love is not there. Intense love is there. Only you can help now. That is the Radhika is one of the highest feelings that she become man. If you have no love, you cannot be angry. Yes. Blessed are these maid servants. What? The greatest mystics, gods, and devotees pray to Lord Krishna for his audience without attaining it. But this self-same Krishna prays to Radha's maidservants for her audience. Wow. Radha, Radha. In this connection, I just remember Chaitanya Charit Amrita where Krishna himself is explaining the whole world wants something from me. They are all serving me because they want something. But who can give something to me? Only a person who is hundred times more qualified than me could do that. I only see that in Radha. And now comes the wonderful point. And of course, in her kinkeries, it's also there, as we can see here. Because the kinkaris are giving what Radha is giving to him. So the kinkaris can give him something. 
otherwise they just won give me give me give me i am yours you have to give me like gurudev said no we are swaminis and swamini just wants to make you completely satisfied so we give you what radharani wants to give you in this way this kinkery is so blessed jai shri radhe and one point is you please are one point is no other is that Krishna prays to Radha's maid servants for her audience. I am praying for the mercy festival of your mistress, but that depends on your mercy. Please make me qualified. to receive her mercy yeah i would like to repeat this just <laughs> <laughs> a praise to radhas you read so nicely it become more beautiful this is the way i'm reading this book really i'm telling you so high voice and go the inside the heart Krishna prays to Radha's maid servants for her audience I am praying for the mercy festival of your mistress but that yes. depends on your mercy please make me qualified to receive her mercy the maid servant sees the cup the cupid standing before her with folded hands and tells him your offense is not small how many obstacles our tender princess radhika did not have to overcome to meet you here in this trysting place how miserably she has spent the night here all alone and a woman as i like you cannot understand the pain she feels when you go to some other girl's arbor and come to her only the next morning to strew salt in her wounds by showing her the laugh marks of another girl on your limbs go we don't want to see you here anymore <laughs> so 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 here's uh, sudevia this is so nice this what you read twice or thrice that krishna is praying please make me qualified to receive the mercy of swamini all these things we are hearing now on a sunday afternoon again and again we come on that point this was not given before this was never ever given before except when mahaprabhu appeared and exactly this is mahaprabhu's gift that we in the kali yuga every jiva is qualified to listen to this through the mouth of the acharyas so this is very very spectacular now that what you just read who not vidya pati not chayadev goswami not. not all these great great poets have any idea the mystics the shukadev shiva oh, brahma no one of them has an idea what swamini is thinking and and how the how these interactions are taking place that krishna is bowing down and begging mercy to the kingaris all this is unnatural rasam sri swapakti shyam this is the beautiful beautiful gift of mahaprabhu that we can hear this and this is really something 
to be treasured in our heart, verse after verse. This is not made public for hundreds and hundreds of years. So it's, it, I think it's amazing. Yes. Therefore, I thought uh, the Raza dance had to stop to receive this, this very gift to overcome this on yours to you are mine. <laughs> okay, that was. Shri Krishna then says, who else but you bring me to her? Who shall I turn to when you let me down? The maidservant replies, your offense was very grave and I want you to suffer for it. Go and suffer for your deeds. I cannot pray to Swamini for your sake. Then, Rade, yes. Rade. <laughs> so we can see here how King Kari very loyally is following the Radhika's man and continue to expand her man by chastising Krishna directly. She's but little Shrimati girl. didn't have done, no? Shrimati personally had. He already did, but in a polite way, middle way, yes. middle but man. So. No. But <laughs> Kinkari is very prakar, very <laughs> sharp towards Krishna because he, she wants in this, to give him the pleasure through the suffering and to make him more exact because my Swamini is so angry on you, but I am also angry on you. I'm so angry on you because you hurt her. So this is the sign of great intimacy. Like Gurudev said, no one can speak like this, especially to Krishna. Who can speak like this? Uh, Tarun Baba already said, no one can write about this. And what to say, who can speak about this? Only someone who can speak to Krishna like this, he, he can write like this. Yes. You know, remember, Goranga, you have to, and to Goramani and Suniti, we all have a very similar past. You know, we were reciting the 10 offenses to the holy name every morning. And now the King Gora is going and saying to the Supreme Personality of God that your offense is very grave. So this is really, this is also, you know, kind of humorous and ironic, yes. you know, that we are yes. always repeating all these offenses. And the King Gora is saying, your offense is very grave, go away. So this is also very, yes. very yes. intense, you know. This cannot and happen. Sakya Bhav is not possible in this matter, not possible. Lalita and Vishaka would never say such a thing in, in that way. So this is the mood of Kinkaris actually and every sadaka who feels at least little drop in the heart attraction for Kinkari Baba, he will feel a relishing because it is only possible in Rasa. But we in the same time we know who are Radha and Krishna, but Rasa is pervading completely this tattva, this information, who are they? So this is the beauty. Study. Then, in order to please the maid servant, Krishna pitifully prays to her in so many ways. Seeing Krishna's eagerness, the maid servant says, All right, if you are so pathetic, I will try to do something for you. But never do it again. Will you always remember how much you suffered this time? Nagara answers with folded hands, Surely. I will remember. Please go to your Swamini and try to please her for my sake. I will never commit such an offense again. 
The maid servant says, I don't believe you. You are such a liar and a womanizer. When the tender golden body of my Swamini must unite with you, I will burn to ashes. I should protect her from associating with people like you. These chastisement of the maid servants give Krishna inconceivable happiness. She Krishna, who is an ocean of love and a mine of jewel-like qualities, is always eager to relish the sweet nectar of Sri Radhika's man. And the maidservant helps by chastising him like this. The maid servant consoles Shyam by saying, sit down here for a while. I'm going in first to see what I can do. And like, like Gurudev said, you see, that Chandra Vali, she, is, she, is, she, she can never be in such a man like Swamini because she thinks, I am yours, I am yours. She's easily available, readily available because she thinks I am yours. But Swamini is not that way. So what is more relishable now for Krishna? Knowing that he can always have expansion of Swamini like Chandra Vali, which is also there to augment his taste or to come to the place where Radhika is worshipped by the mantras and beg for, for, for the mercy of the kinkaris, you know. So this is also to be considered. So Chandra Vali will never give him this pleasure and this wonderful feeling Swamini can give him. This is also uh, another form we have to keep in mind. This is this I am yours, Krishna, sometimes is very easy, you know, but Radhika is not that category. Chandavali Chanda is also want to serve Radhika and Gopi also want to serve because they are expression of such. They are expression of Radhika and this is the nature of the festival of the feelings. In the whole festival, what is happening from the feeling of Radhika happening? So, so many varieties of feelings are there. What feeling you like to accept in your life? You like to be in the feeling of Gopi, you like to be feeling of Chandravari, you like to be feeling of Mandiri. That individual soul has to decide. The Gopi want Gopi how is the highest? Because they 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 come to the bodily consciousness to the soul identity. That, that and so can only see super so. This is also very high thing. It's not a this easy thing. To say to someone that I am yours is also a difficult thing. This is also one of the nature of the person. <laughs> Mood of the person, feeling of the nervous. But the highest feeling and the highest de devotion is the mandiris are there, who is one pointed only to Radhika. They also say that I am also with you, Radhika, I am your expansion. But they start thinking for themselves. Gopis are also want Krishna. They forget Radhika. 
Chandramani also forgets Radhika and he wants to be free with Krishna. But Manjari says, no, I am your servant, I am your shadow, I want to make happy to you. And for that, Manjari can chastise to Krishna. Radhika gives the position by us to Manjari. That's the beauty of Manjari. Gopi cannot do this. And Chandravali cannot do this. The king Kari. The king Kari approaches Srimati and sees that her peak has cooled off somewhat. Swamini breathes deeply, so the maid servant thinks, I think that if I start glorifying Shamasundra's sweet attributes a little bit now, she will give up her peak. Then she says out loud, Oh, Rishabhanu Nandini, I know that you are angry, but over there, Rindavasi's Cupid is so eager for your mercy that he considered the whole world to be void. The maidservant wisely does not pronounce Krishna's name, but simply calls him Vrindavan's Cupid, so that Swamini will remember all of his attractive attributes, like his flute playing, his sweetness, and his beauty. And she will understand that it is useless to maintain her peak. She realizes that if she does not become pleased now, she will feel sorry for it later. And she will have to send a duty to search for Krishna again. The maidservant understands by looking at Swamini's face that it is a good time now to bring Nagara before her lotus feet. If he will fall at her feet now and beg for forgiveness, then she will give up her peak. The maidservant thus returns to Nagara and tells him, Look, I think that her peak has come down somewhat. If you go to her now and beg for forgiveness, you can get her mercy. By saying this, the maid servant creates a wave of rasa in Nagara's heart. With great passion, Shyama Nagara stares at Swamini's lotus feet. Manini sits down in a pensive mood, holding her lowered head in her left hand. Her feet are moistened by sweat drops that look like drops of honey trickling from a lotus flower. Seeing Shyam Managara's passionate glance, the maid servant thinks, it is as if Krishna's passion trickles from these lotus feet like honey drops in the form of these sweat drops. 
This is why she says, streams of deep passion flows from her lotus feet. Now, Shyama falls at these long-cherished lotus feet and begs for forgiveness. Srimati gives up her peak, and from this proceeds a new meeting for the divine couple, which is hot and sweet at the same time, like boiling sugar cane juice. O Princess of Rishabhanu, O Beloved of Sri Krishna, in order to get the great festival of your mercy, Vrachas Cupid Sri Madhava flatters your maidservant with praises. O Sri Radhi, intense bliss and passionate Rasika pastimes are flowing like waves from your lotus feet. Prabhupada says, I praise your divine lotus feet and circumambulate them every day. Thus, end this verse 94. I repeat the verse. O beautiful daughter of King Vrishabhanu, Vrindavan's transcendental Cupid, Krishna, he always flatters your maidservants in so many ways, desiring the festival of your indescribable mercy. I praise your beautiful feet from which waves of very blissful, constant passion always flow. Good Thank you very much, Sudevi. It just came to me that we were listening now about festival of Sri Radha's mercy. But through the commentary of Gurudev in Ananta Das Babaji, we also be able to drown in the ocean of Kinkari's mercy, festival of Kinkari's mercy. Because she gave so much pleasure to Krishna, but also to the festival of her mercy, she gave so much pleasure to Radhika. So this is an amazing festival, Trinity, between Krishna, Radha, and Kinkari. In very, very intimate situation, where Kinkari is actually expressing how ex uh, her expertise in serving the both of them. And this is the glories of the Bhavola Sarati or Manjariba. And, and it, it, it culminates in a new divine meeting. Yes. Something. Another festival. Yes. Come. From festival <laughs> to festival. Every it's word a is. It's dance. Festival. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sudevi. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. And in this way, we can see that it's not only the highest taste for Krishna, it is also the highest taste for Radha and the highest taste for the Kinkari, because she loves when she sees Krishna subdued, isn't it? So it's the highest seva, and then from this highest seva, it comes to another meeting. But this, as we hear, is not giving so much pleasure than that. So we may think different, but actually this is the highest pleasure. And we are so lucky that we have the association here and get reminded and again and again dive into that sweetness of exchange, these sharings. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you, Sudevi. You read Thank so you. nice. Thank you all for sharing so your feelings and nectar. Thank you. I was also just thinking, because we hear this, uh, the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika are, you know, so blissful because there's constant passion flowing from them. And also in the text that it is mentioned that Krishna stares at these passion flowing <laughs> lotus feet. So we, I, I thought, yeah, what happened? Krishna got lost. He had some, you know, he had to also make Janjavali somehow give some time to her. But Shimati Radhika's passion was increasing and increasing and increasing. So as Vishwana Chakravati Taku also writes in this one explanation that the anger or the ones, the rivals of Shimati Radhika's, they do the highest service by creating this anger or passion-filled situations. Like Urdiv says, that this kind of uh, spicy anger it will not be happening in any situation. It can only happen when there is a rival that creates this kind of man. So that is the service of Shri, uh, Chandravali. Like Gurudev said also, the gopis serve Srimati Radhika and also, you know, Chandravali, her service is like that. So that the passion becomes so, 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 so strong that only the mandaris can uh, arrange that, uh, although the circumstances are very, very, uh, you know, doubtful if a meeting can happen, but the mandaris, they also add the spice make Krishna more eager, and he is just helplessly staring at the passion-filled lotus feet of Swamini. Even so Chatila. Yeah. Even Chatila. Yeah, they are also serving this. That is a nice, uh, how do you say, change out of the box uh, way to feel about these subjects which are not so tasteful here in this material world. But in the transcendental way, th it is increasing increasing the happiness of the divine couple's meeting and exchange. And this man is the highest uh, kind of, like you say, spice to make pranay happen. And that's also we have heard many times from our uh, Acharyas that after this spice-filled uh, situations, pitiful situations, kind of like looking hopeless situations, then the pranai, the meeting, is a more and more relishable and more and more festival-like uh, explosion of their meeting. And all the dasis, uh, uh, the kinkaris are very happy when they also can do their part, uh, play their part in that. So nice. Rande, Rande. Jai Udav Ji. Rande, Rande, Jai Gurudev. Radharasa Sudaniti is, um, it's like a history of the world. But not a history like we have in the West with politics and society. It's a history of the emotions of the world. It's a story of uh, that lays out verse by verse the shape and the character of of divine feeling, divine love. What does it look like? It's difficult for us to understand, we jivas. But then we see it acted out in every verse and the commentaries, and it helps us to understand what reality is. Because Radha Mohan is reality. So this is just a new chapter of what the world looks like in emotional terms. So I think for me the most important point in the in the commentary is where Babaji says that 
the maid servant creates a new wave of rasa. Sudevi under, underlined this when she read. This whole theater of emotions that we had throughout the commentary, it could have been like Shakespeare, you know, all the drama and tragedy and emotion. And But what's really unique about it is that through it, a new kind of rasa is created. And then, as Sudevi also said and underlined, then a new cycle of loving emotions is started by this. And so on it goes. The, the movement of love, divine love, which we can get a little bit of an insight into by, by reading this, uh, this book. Yeah. Thank you. And because Gurudev was giving this example of a feast, of a festival, in every festival, most important is what you get, uh, prasadam, different kinds. It is like you had already the blade full with pakoras, rice, sapchi, dal, all different kinds. And then somebody comes with pickles. And we all know pickles alone you cannot really enjoy, but with rice and sapchi and all these other things, all the other things serve the pickles so much that you can enjoy them very, very much, actually. I just got this picture from Gurudev. Jai Sirade, let's eat some pickles. Thank <laughs> you.